I put my finger to my lips and motioned for Toby to stay behind me. We tiptoed along the hedge in front of the big brick house. When we got to the gate, I scanned the street, then whispered to Toby, You be on the lookout. If anybody comes outside, or a car comes, or anything, you whistle like I showed you this morning, okay? Toby nodded. I peered over the gate. The front door of the house was closed. I glanced toward the driveway. No car. The yard was empty and quiet. Here, Willie, I called out real soft. Nothing. Maybe he was inside. I wondered if I should go on up to the porch. Probably not. If somebody was home, they were liable to see me. Maybe you should whistle, Toby whispered. Okay. I whistled one time and waited. Sure enough, Willie stuck his head out of that little doggy door. When he saw me, he dashed out the door and up to the gate. Hey, Willie, I whispered, sticking my hand through the gate to pet him. He stood on his hind legs and put his front paws on the gate. His tail wagged so hard his whole body wiggled. He licked my hand like it was a T-bone steak. You want to come with us? I said.